Leslie Joseph joins oh. me now. It's always great to see you. No. Really good to see I you. I get quite emotional watching those things, honestly, I do. I know, because you love it. I know. You I absolutely know. love it. And hopefully there's going to be more. We well, hope. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It would be crazy otherwise, wouldn't it? It's, it's like you were saying earlier, it's one of the few that has come back that has just been such a massive success. Yeah. It always is a gamble. It is. And it has. And I love the fact you get emotional about it. I know. Is it, is it just because it's I such can. a big part of your it life? Just, yeah, it is. The girls, the, the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I love and you're it. good mates. You genuinely yeah, are yeah, really good are. mates. That's the thing. Now that you have always got something to say, yeah. and this is why I think you're perfect for this. Happy to happy about to happy chat. To happy chat. to chat. Well, Joe Cox, bless her, before she was murdered, the Joe Cox Commission on Loneliness. They're trying to make people aware of how lonely some people can be, and especially this month, it's to deal with older people. And you know, um, I was thinking about it because my mother was in a home, and I used to go and visit her. She died last year, aged nearly 104. Wow. And then when I used to go nearly every day, and so many people in that home had nobody visiting them oh. they were on their own so I always used to make sure I included everybody I can I imagine you doing that yeah it's and it, I got a huge amount from it and the stories yeah. you heard was amazing and I think what they're trying to do is get people to be aware that because people don't talk about loneliness it's not it's not you feel ashamed if you you know or, and some people actually don't speak to anybody all week that's so sad, isn't Not it? Not all week. Nobody. Yeah. Older people. And it's becoming aware of who lives around you and actually taking time to talk, taking time to chat, mm. visiting them, saying, come back to my house, have a cup of tea. It takes two minutes, doesn't two it? Two minutes. Sometimes Would even you like some to... shopping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling them what's out there. My mother used to go, and it was be wonderful. She'd p be picked up on a Thursday, and she'd go along to her luncheon club. And she, and this is in '96, '97. She'd go along to her luncheon club. She'd have lunch. They'd sit and they'd do the hand exercises and yeah, all of this. Brilliant. They'd have tea and cake, and she made friends. Mm. And her neighbour opposite used to pop in, used to get her prescriptions for her, used to have a cup of tea, used to take her over to have tea with him and his wife. Mm. And it's just getting people to be aware that there are people elderly people who have nobody yeah, nobody to talk to. Nobody lovely, to talk to. Fantastic way to remember Jo as well, because she she was really, as you said, this yes, was something very, very, very to, to her heart. And you know what? Sometimes you you know you were saying about that you got a lot out of going and talking to the people at your mum's home. Elderly people have got. I mean, that generation in particular oh have got goodness. amazing stories to tell. Well, my mother amazing. was born in 1912. So wow. She was a flapper. She <laughs> lived through the, the 20s. You know, we used to sit and talk about the. She lived through two world wars. Yeah, yeah. And there are so many that what I call the hidden stories mm. that people don't talk about. And I think elderly people also, if you've got young kids, go and take them to visit your neighbour. Just yeah. it, half an hour. Or you can befriend people on the phone. That's true. No, you know, that's you just ring true. up and just... And I think elderly people really, really need that. And oh, also, definitely. we used to live where, you know, you'd be brought up next to your kid. You know, your Everybody kids knew each other. Everybody yeah. knew each other. There was a whole community. Yeah. Now your son's in Australia, your daughter's in America. And it's something I think about yesterday, that we live our lives in our phones. We I do. Know. We keep trying For to put sure. them down, something you were saying earlier. But that would be a wonderful tool if you took that phone into your neighbour and said, right, let's work this out. Let's get your son's number and let's Sleep, Skype him. Yeah. So once a week you could go around and this is your Skype time and then you stay and you have a cup of tea and a piece of cake. And this whole happy to chat, it's just being aware that people are out there that need communication. And I would say all of us are going to get there. All of us. Indeed. You know, and the older you get sometimes, the more people drop out. You lose your husband, your partner. Your children your world gets small, you have nobody, yeah. your world gets much yeah. smaller. And it really is becoming, I think it's a wonderful initiative. It's great. And it's a very simple initiative and you can do something very simply. And it can also, it needn't necessarily be a stranger. You know, there are people within your family, an elderly aunt or uncle, That's that true. don't see you enough. And it's mm. just becoming aware. And maybe once a week, picking up the phone and checking and saying, are you OK? Will you come for lunch? That's all it takes, isn't it? Yeah, honestly. I love, you know what I love about you? I love your passion for things you know when you get involved in something you really do i do well i'm really I, do. Um, my mother i had her for all my 71 years oh. and uh, i miss her terribly mm. and i was very very aware towards the end of her life um how many people that were around her that had nobody yeah, yeah, yeah. and i became very involved in their lives you're fantastic you are i don't know where you get your energy it's amazing. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> yoga. Yoga. And that's the other thing. Exercise is key. Right. My mother line danced when she was 96 and 97. I've got the pictures <laughs> with all this going on. Bless her heart. <laughs> I love it. Leslie, thank you. We'll stick all this in our, in our website. Please. Happy to chat. Thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure. Always a joy. Thank, thank you very you. much.